What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about ION. Um, I want to get into what's happening with this project um, in a second. There's a couple pieces of news regarding it, along with sort of a long term vision that they're sort of looking at trying to fulfill. So I'm going to get into that in a sec. As always, I update the spreadsheet. These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on the channel that I thought would smash it in this bull cycle. If you'd invested 100 bucks into each one when I released my videos, you'd be in, and you're still holding those bags, you'd be in profit for $45,000. Add in your $2,600 investment, you're sitting on over 47 and a half grand. Um, Phantom's leading the way because that was a Udemy course where I said it'd be the best investment of the year. I got in at half a cent, so did a lot of my students. So that's good. Uh, closed positions on them, all of these in profit. Grim, not so much. Um, it's never been doing very well. Uh, but I've reinvested all that money into new cryptos. If you want to see the portfolio that I've got, check out Copy My Crypto. I've built a portfolio designed for maximum gains during this bull cycle. Um, my biggest holdings have been massively outperforming the market. In fact, my entire portfolio has been massively outperforming the market. And my biggest holders continue to smash it. Um, if you want to be a part of this, if you want to try and build your wealth in preparation for whenever the inevitable bear cycle happens, and you've got more money to invest to make greater gains in the next bull cycle, then check this out. You won't want to miss out. Right, Ion. So before I get into Ion, well, so Ion's currently priced at 17 and a half cents, okay? Um, it's had its all-time high in around its launch it, during the previous bull cycle in 2018, where it hit 10 bucks. Um, it has then monumentally stagnated. Um, its highest as of recent times was about 47 cents. Um, so what are the reasons for the stagnation? Well, first of all, development is at an all-time low. Cardano is actually the most... Uh, developed on blockchain at the moment in terms of um, well in terms of commits per per month on github but in terms of decreasing commits aon is the biggest loser so 95 percent decrease that's pretty bad um you know it's had more decreases than um, a larger percentage decrease than ethereum classic which has been hacked god knows how many times um, so with that in mind, why has that happened? Now, Ion, you can see from the website, there's not been anything new added. It's not except one thing. They put in reports every quarter. Um, so their Q4 report for 2020 is worth actually having a look at. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So this, the letter from um, the crew, from Matt talks through, and he's really candid and really honest about about areas that need development. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So we've obviously made mistakes along the way, and we've learned a lot. But I look back at our efforts and our approach with a lot of pride today. What the big, biggest protocols are accomplishing cannot ease, be easily replicated. So the Open Foundation has not had success in achieving meaningful adoption of the OAN and Aon. Despite having made significant efforts to attract developers and products to our ecosystem, it has become increasingly clear that this was a losing strategy to develop long-term value in the Aon ecosystem. We attempted to bolster meaningful adoption by founding Moves, a project that would solve a tangible problem facing real users and that would also leverage the OAN um, in order to do so. Our insight, which led us towards building moves, wouldn't have been possible, da 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 da, da. So, what could be interesting here um, is how this moves idea plays out. Now, however our product evolves, our priority and accountability will continue to include the community that's gotten us this far. Um, 
Now, we don't know exactly how this will play out. That's the truth. But here's what we're committing to. The foundation's eye on Treasury will not be liquidated or sold. The OAM protocol will continue to exist and be maintained by the community and the foundation. Uh, Aon will continue to be transferable, exchangeable, and stakeable. Aon's primary tools and exchange listings will continue to be supported. Moves is designing its product thesis towards an end of unlocking token-based ownership for its members. When the Moves ownership design is ready to be implemented with users when appropriate, the ION community holders will be entitled to a proportion of any digital asset created to power this system. In order for our team to have a chance of winning in this new market, we need to focus. Given this strategy, Moves will be adopting a principle of designing in the open by publishing blogs and tweets on our strategy to enable our members, stakeholders and you to follow along on this journey. As such, this will be the last foundation report we publish in this format, as we no longer think it accomplishes its original intent or aligns to our strategy. We will not be doing any regular AMAs, Aon slash OAN social updates on monitoring Telegram. In order to create a value for Aon holders, we're committed to moves and all the efforts it will, will require others to make it successful. The future is unknown, but we're excited about what's next. And then they give a spending report, to be fair, and they, they're very, very... You know, the whole the whole report is very, very open. But this opens up quite an unusual set of circumstances for Aeon. They've said that they're pretty much done with uh, with the community outreach and AMAs, etc., etc. Uh, to be honest, they're not even really updating anything on social feeds either. Twitter's you know, dead, they've not done anything, they've not posted anything since May. Um, so the blog, again, archived, everything's archived now. So you've not had anything since November 20. Um, and in terms of Reddit, there's not much knocking about here either. Um, so yeah, so they've got nothing really new with regards to, um, anything to do with moves at the moment. Uh, they've got a open application community update below our addresses, some more frequently, da, 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 da. on watch, burn rate. So that's general information about the supply distributions. Uh, a bounty program, but nothing to do with moves. So, right now, unfortunately for Aon, I don't see much room in terms of growth. Now, until there are updates from the team with regards to um, what they're trying to do with moves, I can't see why anyone's necessarily going to buy or adopt. Development is down 95% on the network. Yes, you can buy it at exchanges. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a decent blockchain. Um, but without development, there's, this, there's, there's a limit to adoption, isn't there? And that's that, you know, you've got to give credit where credit's due. They've uh, openly acknowledged the issues that they've got with regards to that. Um, they're talking about their new goal with moves, but there's not actually a fat lot about moves um, there. Now, that's only in the most recent report. I haven't, to be fair, went through all the other previous reports. So there might be more in there regarding moves, but there's not really community uh, interaction at the moment because they're focused on the development. Um, I've not checked the Telegram mind. Um, now, the only thing that I can see happening is there could potentially be a price pump on ION if there's announcements about moves. Because obviously there's this statement, statement five, is uh, Iron community holders will be entitled to a proportion of any digital asset created to power the system. So um, when Moves comes into to, uh, fruition, when Moves is done, 
that should be there's potential that that token will be airdropped to Aeon community holders in whatever proportions that could signal people to buy Aeon, Ion, whatever you want to call it. Um, but until that happens, and like, and the only way people are going to buy uh, buy Ion in bulk is when they see that moves is ready to be sent out into the world or when they start to get updates about some level of time frame because then you can do staggered buys i suppose if you look into try and capitalize on the on an airdrop everyone did that with xrp with flare network last year so you could see that but beyond that i don't know why the price will move i don't think this is going to be a winner in this bull cycle at all um maybe it doubles from here maybe it does a bit more you know you never know in a bull cycle but Nothing is happening. Like, no, not nothing is happening. That's unfair. Team are working on something, but no one's getting updates. No one's getting updates. We've seen that development and commits on GitHub are down 95%. There's no real news about anything that's happening beyond any semblance of community updates within, um, within Reddit. Um, so I'm not overly bullish on Ion. I've got to say, you know, I think the best case scenario for Ion is moves is something that they can uh, complete and get out in the next couple of months. Um, and if they can, then Ion could really run well because people will buy it to get the airdrop to token. But beyond that, I'm afraid I'm afraid iron is stagnated or the price is is going to remain stagnated uh, so this is one I would avoid and it was one I was really hopeful about because there was a lot to like about it it was a delegate proof of stake um they're in they were in a sort of uh partnership with uh, one chain and icon um but yeah, it's just sort of petered out, as it were. So, a shame. Um, so, yeah, it's one, I'm avoid, one I won't get into. Uh, that's it for me, anyway. Um, if you <coughs> are new to crypto, check out Copy My Crypto. It's where I share. I built a portfolio designed for maximum gains during this bull cycle. If you want to be a part of it, if you want to make wealth build your wealth in preparation for a bear cycle where your investments will make you so much more money um then you want to join this because the more money you've got when the bear cycle hits the more money you're going to make when the next bull cycle hits um and my portfolio is outperforming the market massively week in week out day in day out so if you want to make those gains click the link in the description that's it for me take care bye bye